We've not yet lost all our graces The hounds will stay in chains Look upon your greatness as you'll send the call out, send the call out, send the call out, send the call out Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. This is Kevin Harlan with Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. For the Atlanta Hawks earlier this season, they were the fans checked in for Atlanta. Here's Wall. 23 points for him the last game against Charlotte. And he was just lurking defensively in that game. He got four steals during that game. So on the floor for Washington. Wall and Beal together in the backcourt. And they down low with Rotop. And it's Pierce in at the small forward position. Well, the Wizards very high on their young athletic backcourt. at the foul line in the game. And Beal with his great outside shooting and his compliment to John Wall. You know, you watch Wall, how much he's improved as a shooter, but he's best really attacking off the dribble. With Beal spacing the floor, I think they make a nice one-two punch. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. No good from prime time. I thought he rushed it a little bit, guys, because he had a clean look. He just lost his focus. Bojack gets to Pierce. Ball against T. Bojack prepares to walk. And it's good. Caught through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, that's one way he can finish. But not the only way. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that shot. Nene with the screen on T. Works out with the screen for Pierce at the wall. And he comes off the screen to Pierce with the jump shot. Wall's got eight. And Wall has some good big men to work with running that pick and roll. Nene, very mobile. So you have a great finish. Yeah, and of course, Marcin from the top. He's had a couple years running the pick and roll with Steve Nash in Phoenix. So, uh, he's had some pointers for Wall, too. All in all, you love to see the chemistry that has developed between all those points. Here's Carroll. A 14-point game for him in the win against New Orleans. Put in a lot of good work on the boards. That helped him, too. The pass at the prime time. Like at six. Rebounded by the Wizards. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They tried to put that one behind them. And that result was no surprise, Clark, because they played very loose with the ball that night. Yeah, they were carefree. Foot loose and fancy free with the ball. Doesn't get it done. How often do we see it, Steve? A team that loses the turnover battle loses the game. And he sees the shot coming off the strong pit. Perfect screen there. Set him up. Nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. See the shooter, Kyle Schroeder. Let's take a look at some of his numbers. How this season has been coming along for him. Second and three throw percentage. And his three-point field goal accuracy has been really impressive. He's ranked in the top 15. And as you said it, Steve, I mean, his free throw percentage is virtually unmatched. He's a guy who just doesn't take free throws lightly and makes a high percentage of them. Prime time, and he banks into late. Prime time, he's got six points. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback right here. Lene with the screen on T. Pushes to Nene. No problem on the jumper in close. Nene's got it all tied up now for the Wizards. Great looking bounce pass to set up that play. T gets to Horford. Back to T. Inside. Here's prime time. And Pierce pulls it down. Pierce has got his third rebound on the night. It is not 
not been an easy quarter for them, at least offensively speaking. No one new ball as he lets it go. And the three ball is good. And now it's a three-point Wizards lead. Action plan, 6-12 in the field here in the first quarter. Teague gets to court.
finishes. And Miller gets the assist. He was one step ahead of the defense when he fired that pass for the assist. The Hawks lead by six. And Matt to the basement. Pass to Cephalosha. Gay Sports, back in a moment here at Phillips Arena in Atlanta. Subbed in for Miller. Prime time. In at the three. Mike's got out there with Paul Milson. Then it's Sheldon Mack. And it's Corver in at the shooting guard. So that's the Hawks five. Watching Gorchak, the Polish Amherst. You can get the idea by now of the 57th pick back in 2005. He's just a quality starting center in the NBA. 6'11 center. Can score and defend. Really a good pickup for Washington. All with it. He's been. Oh! oh. Top. Usually scores, but that time a nice three. The fastest run time, the 17th Rebound, Washington. Great look, disappointing result. You know, most times he knocks down the down. Here's Pierce. Lee Vaz was put in just the right spot. Pierce has got six. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball. Inside. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Number of 
points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. Oh, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. Great job defending the hoop there. So important to have good presence defensively inside. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. Hawks ahead, up by 16. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Of course. Hi, Kevin. I'm here with John Wall. And, John, you're really lighting it up out there with your jump shot. What is the reason behind shooting it more as opposed to driving it more? Well, I'm just trying to do what you can give me. They give me my jump shot right now. And I'm going to get rid of them. They used to. Hey guys, great execution in the first half, but we still have a few things to talk about before we go back out there. I'm not going to single out any one guy because we've gotten contributions from all over the place. I can't say enough about the work you fellas did coming off the bench especially, but love the success we've had on the offensive glass. That's where we've done our best work. Maybe we can get that to carry over into a few other areas. And what I want to see more than anything is everyone working together to get open looks. Let's use picks. Let's keep the ball moving around. And when we get someone free, let's get it to them. That's it for now, guys. Let's go get that W. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a for the Hawks. Mike Scott's checked in for Millsap. And Bazemore comes in for Damari Carroll. And Tabo Cephalosha subbed in for Kyle Corbett. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Kevin Serafin is checked in for Gortat. Blair comes in for Nene. Arzell Webster, he's checked in for Pierce. And Andre Miller is subbed in for Bradley Beal. Taking a look at the Wizards. Webster out there with Blair. It's Wall. It's Andre Miller. And it's Serafin in the position of the And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Hawks. Big stories has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's been a factor is the transition game. They're scoring a lot of points on the fast break. Prime times checked in for Atlanta. Baysmore passes to Horford to the paint. Baysmore gets the bucket. Baysmore has got his first two points of the night. Now give credit where credit is due. Terrific assist inside. The Wizards have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. This is the wall, and the best is good. The wall has got 19 points. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. graduated with a triple major in state politics, philosophy, 
and economics. It sounds just like you at Arizona. <laughs> Similar, only different. <laughs> but you know, shortly after college, Budenholzer actually took over as the video coordinator for the Spurs, and that's where his career took off. He ended up spending 19 seasons alongside Greg Popovich, winning four titles, and now here he is coaching the Atlanta Hawks. Here's baseball, covered by Wall. Prime time. That misses off the back. Washington shooting 47% from the floor. Getting it done. Into Blair. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Wall's got four assists now tonight. Textbook right there. Nice pass. Great catch. Beautiful finish. Now the pass to Prime time. It's rebounded by Blair. Blair's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Miller outside. He kicks it to Webster. Shot clock at six. Miller outside. Shot is no good. Seems like he's got every single rebound today. Class eating at its finest. I mean, you're not going to see a guy with 20 plus boards too often. That's an impressive number. Here's prime time. Almost always good news for them. Seven seconds left to play in the third. From deep three-point range, and again, Washington with the triple. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Hawks ahead, opening up a huge gap. 2K Sports, back in a moment here at Phillips Arena in Atlanta. And let's take this chance now to show you the Swift Farm assist of the game. Well, with this assist, it shows you just what a well-rounded guard he really is. Kind of a combo guard. Even though he's listed as a shooting guard. Really a first offensive skill set. You almost see more than him. And some guys that have point guard skills that can play both those positions yeah. for sure. A different look here. Scotty's checked in for Horford. Primetime comes in for Damari Carroll. Kent Bazemore's checked in for Kyle Corford. And Max subbed in for T. Then for the Wizards, Humphreys comes in for Gortat. And Miller's subbed in for Bradley Beal. Primetime, he's in a three. Kent Bazemore is out there with Sheldon Mack. Then there's Paul Millsap. And it's Scott in at the five down low. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Bounces is high off the rim and drops. Looks like they're going to finish strong, but just aren't enough ticks left on the clock. Plus, see if it's a good run they're having now, but they just waited too long to have it. Prime time, the best to Scott. That is good. And the Hawks lead by 18. They certainly haven't let these fans down tonight. Fun night to be in the building. It has been. I mean, the atmosphere has been great, and no doubt that helped with the winning effort. Game clock separated by five. Here's baseball, and it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Atlanta making a switch here. Antich is checked in. Then for the Wizards, Blair comes in for Nene. And it's Webster in for Paul Pierce. Outside, Wall Kicks it to Webster. Back to Wall.
Come on. Who died? Look a little nervous. Well, I heard it's never a good thing to be called into the GM's office, especially the day your 10-day contract is up. So if you're gonna release me, I would just appreciate it if you did it quickly. <laughs> I'm gonna be brutally honest, kid. You, uh, you haven't done enough to secure a, a regular roster spot. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. You have done enough to secure another 10-day contract, though. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm gonna give you another shot to uh, prove you belong in this league permanently, huh? Hey, you won't regret it either. I'm gonna make it awfully hard for you to let me go. Uh, I hope so. Look, a contract's on my secretary's desk. You go sign that on your way out. Get out of here. All right, thank you. All right. Where's my lunch? <laughs>